they make you about 160 for them. It's a two car accident. One of them was a black, unknown vehicle, the other was a gray, unknown. Gray car is smoking, both cars in the middle of the street. Nice team is trying to pull the doors open. I remember out with Joe and Titus to what sounds like a two car NBC. Person's unresponsive. Of course, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna try to see how many patients we have to see if we need additional resources. Uh, it looks like the vehicle struck a pole. The oh, pole yeah, is that, still up. That's um, it. Airbags are deployed. Get them able to get Yeah, we got. It. Looks like they hit the bridge. Hey, my man, you all right? What the other car? Where's the other car at? Okay, you check him. I'm gonna go over here. All right. Hey, look, my brother. Where you hurting at? Your head hurt? Did you did you just run right into the bridge? When they hit me, you push my car into the bridge. All right. It's chaos. There's people standing everywhere, and we don't know who's a patient and who's not. So Titus and I have to split up to cover more ground and determine how many patients we have. Alpha 3250, what's your status? 6249, I'm on scene. Is the back of your head? What about your neck? All right. Hey, Titus, how many patients you got in that car? I just got one. He said car hit him, and he ran into the bridge. One? Yeah. One patient? So I'm going to get you out, all right? What about your legs? You let her? All right, do this chair right here. I'm going to get the stretcher, all right? Stop. OK, anybody over here is hurt? She's ambulatory. She's all right. She said she's good. OK, so we don't need another ambulance? No other ambulance, no. Nope. All right, cool. What you need, see? A C collar and a stretcher. Hey, baby. So look, I'm gonna touch your neck and your back real quick, okay? Any pain right here? Pain? No, no pain. Any pain down here? Nothing. You sure? You ready, baby? That's your mama calling. You want me to talk to her? What's, What's her your name? name? My name what is, is Lance. It? That's Paul. Lance. Yeah, is this Lance's mom? Have a seat right here. Hey, this is Lieutenant Sherman with New Orleans EMS. Hey, so he's awake, he's talking, he does have some injuries, he was involved in a wreck, but we're about to load him into the ambulance and try to check him out a little bit further, okay? Lance, look, you got a little flat to your head, but you're gonna be all right, brother. Did you pass out at all? When he hit me. You hit, so you did pass out. He's not really answering me quickly like I would like. I don't know if he has a head injury or he's just in shock. So right now, I need to get him in the ambulance so I can do a better assessment. Hey, Lance, wake up, woman. Hey, baby, let me have this arm right here. Does it hurt to breathe at all? No? I need you to take nice, deep breaths from him. Good job, baby, good job. Hey, Lance, wake up for me, man. Yeah, I need you to stay up for me, Lance. He's having a decreased mental status, plus he has a lack to the front of his head. So we have two indications that it may be a possible head injury. All right, T, y'all be uh, careful. Yeah. Thank you, All right, Holly. Joe. You ready, Titus? Yeah, I'm ready. 6249, I'm clear. 3251 is code 3 to the trauma center with one patient. All right, how fast were you moving? The speed limit. All right, good. Put your head your seatbelt on, right, bro? All right. What else do you remember from the crash? Just the airbags. Just the airbags? I need to do a full assessment of you. All right, what about your legs? Does your legs hurt? Oh, you, I see you got a, uh, that one hurt. All right, good. What about this? Any of that? Is that bad? No shoulders? All right, chest, does it hurt when I touch on your chest? And now you have a little lack on your head, right? Calls like this can be a grim reminder that anything can happen to anyone at any moment. You never know. This kid looked like he was out having fun, and boom, he hits a concrete pillar. Hopefully it's nothing that changes his life forever, and maybe he can get out here next weekend and, you know, make up for this night. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <laughs> Grant the nozzle. Grant the nozzle. No, they're not dead. I can work with them.